Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Pocket Mixer Mini DJ Mixer. So I don't know that this is something that DJs need because I'm not a DJ and I don't really know anyone who's a DJ, but I'm sure you know someone who's a DJ or at least attempts to be one. Um, so you guys can tell me. Mini table, blah, 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 for signal something, something, installation sampler. Okay, I think that's some other language. Music in, music in, headphones out, and stereo sort of out there. So let's open this baby up. No batteries needed, apparently, which is sort of cool. Pocket mixer, so there's like a bear or something, which is obviously related to DJing. Okay, we've got some included cables here. A couple little guys, just like that. Also got a nice little uh, velvet bag that it's included with it. Okay, we've got some sort of cool stuff here. So this explains what everything is. So there's your highs, mids, and lows. Here's your master. Right, left, on, off. Okay. All right, music in, music in, music. Okay, so that's just the same diagram we saw before. Instructions with the same diagram. Oh, different language this time. Good stuff. All right. I am actually sort of interested to try this. Oh, there we go. So you can decide if you want to listen to right or left. There's your master volume. So we're going to put everything at the middle for now, because everything is cranked at the moment. And here we go. Okay. Oh, neat. Okay, you can actually, wow. You can adjust it for what kind of impedance your, um, your headphones are. So that's sort of neat. So you can just kind of change that, that dial. There's your inputs. There's your output, so that goes out to the stereo or whatever else. And then there's your headphones for monitoring. And this is your headphone monitoring volume. And then this is your left and right slider for the various tracks that you have going on. So let's, uh, let's try this. So, this thing works actually. Check this out. So we've got it set up. And basically how it works is I've got my monitors here and then I can select which one I want to listen to. So here, I'll get right down here so you guys can see what's going on. So I can select if I want to listen to the right or the left ear. So check this out, guys. Um, oh, let me see if I can... Okay, here, here, here. So I'll put this right next to the microphone and see if you can like hear that. Can you hear that at all? I'm listening to the other track. Okay, whatever, well I am. So, or I can listen to the track that you guys are hearing. Then what I can do is I can actually mix the songs together so now you can hear my All-American Rejects and whatever this nonsense that Slick listens to is. Then I can switch it over. So now I'm still listening to Slick's music in my ear, which is devastating, so I'm just going to do that. So now I can listen to the same thing that I'm listening to over here. You can also make adjustments on the high, mid, and low. So if I decided that Slick's music needed less mid, less high, and more bass, then uh, I could switch back to it like that, and we could, I don't know, turn it up or something. Oh, this is so awful. How do you listen to this? Oh, there we go. See, check it out. So yeah, you can play around with all the dials and do whatever it is that people who know about these things do with these things. Um, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, so you can adjust your overall master volume, although there might be something going on with our unit here where it uh, doesn't really like the master volume adjust too much, but all of these are working 100%. We can switch back to... So yeah, basically the idea is you have a couple iPods and you monitor your music and you... Uh... Oh, check it out. There's the headphone volume, so I can turn up my monitoring volume. So there you go. So here. So you guys should be able to hear that. Even once I switch over there, can you hear it still? Okay. Well, whatever, you guys get the point. So I think that's pretty much it. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's unpowered, which is cool. So what that means is that you actually don't have to have it plugged into anything. You can literally carry it around in your pocket. And oh, oh, it's the speakers causing the issue. So it wasn't even this. So I don't know what's wrong with those speakers, but let's not worry about it too much right now. So the point is you can carry these around with you in your pocket, wherever you go. And because it's, it's not powered, so it's not amped, that means you do have to hook it up to an amped speaker setup or you know receiver or stereo or whatever else. Uh, so it just takes two passive inputs, mixes them together, adjusts uh, sort of your, uh, your, the characteristics of the noise. I forget what this is called, fader? No, that's for cars, that's like front and back, whatever, don't worry about it. Um, you can turn the EQ, oh yeah, equalizer, there we go. 
<laughs> you can turn the EQ on and off. You can adjust your master volume. You can select what you're monitoring. You can mix. This is actually very smooth and very easy to use. You can adjust your headphone volume. You can plug in your headphones here. And finally, you can adjust the impedance of the headphones you're using according to what you're using to monitor. So very cool little tool. Um, I mean, tons of applications beyond just sort of DJing or whatever else. I mean, you could even use it for things like uh, if you had a couple of people that you know were mic'd up for something, then you could switch between them or you know have just sort of one source that goes to maybe one receiver pack, something like that. So you could actually use two mics. On one. That's what I'm planning to use it for, but sky's the limit. Thanks for checking out my unboxing and first look at the Pocket Mixer. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.